Hey, Walter here, and you've probably met someone before, and right when you met them straight away, you just knew, you know what, I, I don't think I'm going to be friends with that person. Just don't, They just don't, uh, we just don't get along very well. It's just not a good match. And that's okay. You know, you, you get to choose your friends, and so that's lucky. You don't, have to, you don't have to be friends with everyone. Uh, and so that's what's great about trading. You don't have to take every single trade. And one of the things that I've learned is that sometimes you can look at a, a setup and you can just know that this is, this, is a bad, this is a bad thing to do. And this one right here is a Aussie Swiss four hour candle. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see it. And I don't know what's gonna happen here, but I'll tell you what I think is gonna happen. And I'll tell you why. This candle right here, it's it, a kangaroo tail, you'll remember, Open and close in the top third, check. Open and close in inside of the previous candle's range, no. The close is actually at 66.86 and the low of the previous candle is 66.89, so it's three pips outside, so it doesn't quite, quite qualify. The next candle did trade higher though, interestingly enough. So if you had put a buy stop above here, it would be, it would have been triggered. I don't think this is on support too. That's the other thing. I don't see any support over here. This is like a new low. You'd have to go way, 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 way back in time to see the last time that the market actually got down there. So I don't know if this is a support level. And so what I think is going on here is this is going to fall further. And you can see here, if you zoom in, that the lower time frame, like the one hour, if I shift to the one hour, this is probably going to start to tighten up and look like a triangle here, which is a classic trend continuation pattern. Here, I'll show you. Let me, oh, it's not, <laughs> it's not ready yet. Okay, there it is. Okay, cool. Yeah, see how it's kind of tightening up like this? That is usually trend continuation. So what I would expect to happen here is we are going to see this Aussie Swiss pair is going to fall further. This is just a pause in the downtrend and it's going to fall even further. This looks like a trend continuation pattern even though we had a kangaroo tail here or almost kangaroo tail um, and, the, and the key here was we didn't have it on support. We didn't have the open and the close inside the previous candles range and the reason why we have that rule is for exactly this type of situation where it's a runaway market. It's difficult when the market's really trending in one direction for you to rebound that hard so that the open and the close are inside the previous candles range. That almost, it, it's a very difficult thing. It, it requires at least a strong pullback for that to occur and you can see here we're not gonna have a strong pullback. It's very unlikely. If we do have a pullback, it'll probably be very short-lived and then it'll fall and this will continue. Whenever I see candles start to print inside of a kangaroo tail, like especially around the middle like this, this is almost always a, a case of the busted kangaroo tail. And that's exactly what I think is going on here. We're gonna see this market fall further. So watch out for busted kangaroo tails, will you? I wish you happy trading. If you'd like to learn more about how to trade a small account up to a large account, you can go to small, uh, the Small Account Big Profits course information, click the link below this video and get more on how we're gonna grow our small account uh, very quickly. I wish you happy trading, see you soon.